In 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. In 2022, I'm going to take on that same challenge, redo that entire deck, and do it one week at a time. The card that I am altering this week is the Eight of Spades. And I wasn't overly thrilled with last year's Vindention, so we will take a look at how we can do it better this year. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe and join me for this full deck redo. If you would like to alter playing cards right along with me, please post those under the hashtag Full Deck Redo 2022. You can find me on Instagram at Two Old Crows Mix Media, Facebook. To Old Crows Mix Media Facebook group, and I am working on redoing my website. I am trying to post on my blogs or create my blog post, so I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. This is the card that we will be redoing. Last year, it was just stamped, um, handwritten, wind of change. Not crazy about that one. So let's see if we can create a little interest this year. So I'm tearing some watercolor paper because I would like to do some salt on watercolor on this card, which is kind of was the foundation of last year's card. So I'm just gluing scraps. I have some scraps from previous projects, and rather than cutting up a full sheet, I decided to just make the scraps work. So I'm laying those down. I will cut around the outside edge once I have those glued. And there, we have the card covered and we didn't have to injure another piece of watercolor paper. So no one was hurt in this process. So now that we have that complete, we'll pull out the watercolors and I am going to choose this blue and add some color to the watercolor paper. So I've sprayed the watercolor paper, got it a little wet, and now I'm just letting that paint go where it would like to. So I'm using blue and yellow. We'll get a little bit of green where that mixes together. And once I get that paint on there, trying not to muddy it up, I will hit it with some more water and kind of let it move about. Now to add the salt, and the salt is going to absorb a lot of that paint. So once we have the salt down, we'll just move that aside and let it dry. So there we are dry. Let's brush those salt granules off. And once those are off, I'm taking my Stabilo pen and just going along the lines where that watercolor paper was pieced together. We might as well embrace that. And I'll hit it with the Stabilo, come back with a little moisture on my finger and uh, get that smudged in. And I was going to add some tags, and I went through the process of creating those two little tags, but I decided not to use them. So I'm just setting those, moving those to the side. I shall go around the outside edge of the card with the black ink pad. Let's see, this is where I, I was thinking about it, but like I told you before, I'm going to set those aside and, and we're going to come up with something else. I am going to punch a hole in this upper right-hand corner and place a grommet in that hole. That's what I'm digging for, is the grommet. And I will set the grommet with my crocodile. So I punched the hole with the crocodile, and now I'm going to go back and just use the same piece of equipment to set that grommet into place. And there we go. See, I'm still thinking about those tags, but I'm telling you, I don't use them. So 
So I've decided that I would like to create that. I need some circles on here. So I went over to my jewelry site and pulled this template that I had. And I had used this template to for sterling silver. I would cut, this is what I would cut the base of a circular cabochon with. I would uh, draw on the sterling silver and use my jewelry saw to cut the silver. But we will put it back where it belongs, but I want to use it to just draw those circles on this card. And you could use anything to do that. And now with the Stabilo, I'll just add some shading into each of those circles. And to use the Stabilo, I just draw the line in the circle and then wet my finger and come back and smudge that. And I have decided that I want a circular piece as a focal point, and I cut that out, I punched it out of watercolor paper. I'm coming in with watercolor and salt, and we will set that aside and let it dry. And then we will add that with a dimensional dot, just one of these little foam dots, to give it just a little elevation. So I've inked around the outside edge of it. And I am going to stamp on it. You know, we had a stamp in, in last year, so I'm going to take this boho stamp and stamp on it. The, the stamp didn't really come out so you can see it on camera. It's a very light, um, almost subtle rendition of that stamp, and it's it just doesn't um, come through well on screen, if you will. So I'm pulling out that dimensional dot and deciding where I want to place that. I think right there will look good. I'm going to add a little bit of cheesecloth behind it. Fray that cheesecloth out. And glue that into place. Now the dot is adhesive, but I don't really tr trust that adhesive to last that long. And now that we have that down, I am going to pull in some black ribbon and just add a simple tie through that grommet at the very top of this card, and I think that will add some nice detail up there at the top. There we go. If I can ever get my fingers to do what I need them to do. So we'll tie that into a bow, trim it up, and that will complete this card. And that was last year's. That This is the one for this year. I think it is much nicer. I hope you think so as well. And I hope you will come back and join me each week. I try to post these every Sunday. I've decided on Sundays. I think Sunday makes a nice day. And we will get through 52 cards in 52 weeks. So I appreciate you being there. Please subscribe to my channel. Your likes help me. I'd love to see your comments. Thank you so much and bye for now.